I'm Ismail and I'm the director of Food and Beverage at Anantara Kihawa Moldis Villas. For this episode, we are exploring Abu Dhabi and a region called the Empty Quarter in the Liwa Desert. It's a truly unique landscape full of fascinating culinary traditions. Arabic food is a highlight for our guest at Kihawa and I'm here to search for inspiration, knowledge and understanding about traditional flavors, Arabic design and explore more of this ancient culture. So join with me for a gourmet tour of this stunning part of the world. The landscape here is the perfect backdrop to explore more about the Arabic style of cooking. Today I'm meeting with Chef Emad who is taking me through some of the feature dishes available here at Qasar Al Sarab, a resort in the Liva Desert by Anantara. These dishes are part of an Arabic style cooking class that they offer to guests to learn more about traditional Arabic cooking. My name is Emad, I'm the Arabic chef at Qasar Al Sarab Resort by Anantara. Uh, we are in UAE, Abu Dhabi, far from the city. Anywhere where you look around, it's only you will see desert, and which is it's incredible, uh, nice place. Uh, in the cooking class, you will experience the uh, Arabic cuisine, and you will learn more about the Arabic spices, the herbs, uh, the Bedouin culture, and uh, the technique of cooking. Today in our cooking class, we will make Arabic tahina salad. Actually, uh, we serve it with the barbecue, okay? Because it has uh, the mixed vegetables, uh, like tomato, cucumber, onion, and we mix it with the tahina sauce, which is basically it's a white salsa meat paste and uh, mixed with yogurt and lemon juice. The main course, uh, we have lamb matfoon. Uh, basically, uh, it's made of uh, lamb and rice. Uh, the meaning of matfoon, which is uh, something under the ground. So they was just taking the lamb with the spices and uh, some vegetables, onion, tomato, garlic, and they marinate it all together, okay? And then they rub it with the leaves and they will, it will take time from two hours to three hours. Our dessert, Lokaimat, uh, it's Emirati sweet. Uh, they serve it uh, especially in uh, Ramadan, the holy month. Uh, the meaning of Lokaimat, which is like one bite, and uh, it's so popular and famous in uh, Emirates. The guests, they will experience Arabic cuisine, cooking, an amazing part of the world. There's something truly unique about the traditional Bedouin style banquet set amongst imposing sand dunes under the stars. Today I'm meeting with Hassam to understand why this authentic guest experience is so popular here at Qasar Al Sarab. So my name is Hassam and I'm the executive assistant manager. Here in Al Falaj restaurant we had this concept which we started and our guests they can have this type of experience of the Bedouin life with the low cushion sitting area with the oriental Arabic tents and they can just to be surrounded with the nice uh, sand dunes of the Lewa Desert. The type of the cuisines are some Middle Eastern food, as well as to start with the mazes and uh, with the roasted whole lamb and with the, with the nice mixy grill. And all this is to bring it with the nice flavors of the Bedouin style that they can experience it during the evening time as a special type of dinners. It's not 1,000 nights dream that they can experience, it's the reality where they are in the lower desert, where they can come and explore and to experience the authentic atmospheres. And we all always, we will welcome our guests to come and to explore and to enjoy their stay with us. After a day of exploring this amazing landscape, climbing sand dunes and experiencing some of the customary Arabic traditions, I'm headed back to meet Chef Bastian at Suhail, a restaurant with a fusion of Arabic and Asian influences and try some of their feature dishes. My name is Bastian Meretz, I'm from Switzerland and we are here in the middle of the desert. Uh, Suhail restaurant is basically an Asian fusion restaurant on one side and a very classic steakhouse grill restaurant on the other side. We, we're using a lot of uh, local ingredients. Uh, we, we like to be playful. So basically you can find a lot of French influence in the technique, um, such as the, 
the lava stone grill that we use, uh, the presentation, uh, but it's, it's mixed uh, with a lot of uh, different um, spices, a lot of different tastes uh, that you can find in the Asian cuisine. So uh, today uh, we made for you this uh, duo of lamb, which is uh, one of signature dish. The duo of lamb is, uh, is a mix of uh, very classic uh, grill technique. Uh, we use our lava stone grill um, to nicely seal our uh, lamb chops. And then we have the little baby vegetable to go with it, um, as well as a very classic uh, mashed potato. And then we call it duo of lamb because we add our signature uh, spring roll, which is made with uh, lamb mince. And we have a, a matcha butter uh, to go on the top of the lamb chops, um, as well as uh, black sesame sauce. I think what's, what makes Suail very unique is that you don't expect to have Asian flavor in the desert. And, and we surprise you. I think this is the, the main thing in Suail, this, this effect of surprise. My time in the Liva Desert has been inspirational. It's given me a deeper appreciation for the Arabic culture and how we can offer some of these concepts as part of our dining by design experience at Anantara Kihewa. Next, I return to our beautiful home at Anantara Kihewa, where I will venture out to some of the local islands and explore our own food stories, our traditional way of cooking and look for more inspiration for creating truly unique experiences for our guests. I hope you can join me.